So I'm sure we've all seen those pictures. Those pictures that are, in my opinion, disgusting. They got tongues hanging out. They got blood all over them. They got arrows out of them. They're just bad. They do nothing for hunting and for our heritage. And for me, I like to hunt for the animals. Yeah, I like to eat the animals, but I respect them. And for me, trophy photos are for the respect of the animal and to show the animal's beauty. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do it. Um, you can see I've got this animal here posed with a tripod and a cord. Uh, he's gonna stiffen up and he'll make a really nice picture here in a minute. But, uh, you know, I want to clean this animal up. I want to get as much of the blood off of them as I can because I don't want them to be all bloody. And, um, you know, we, we have a, an uphill battle as it is. Uh, but the better job we can do out here in the field with our pictures that we want to display and show people, uh, the more acceptable it can be. So I'm just going to... Uh, clean this animal up. I've got some tissue here, a little water um, that I'm going to clean it with. So what I like to do with my antelope or any other critter for that matter is once I harvest them, I'll set them up either with branches and in this case I have a tripod and you'll see that uh, I've got it suspended with a cord up to my tripod and you want to overextend it because when you take them down, even though they have rigor mortis, they will settle just a little bit. So you want to keep them high and tight. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll show you a few more other tips as we get going here. All right, we're about ready. This antelope is posed just perfectly. It's about ready to take some pictures. But while I'm waiting for it to finish up, I want to cover a couple of things with you that I do when I take photographs. Today we're dealing with an antelope, but it could just as easily be a deer or it could be an elk or something else that you've harvested things that I like to do. You'll notice I've got gloves on. Normally I have a pair of lightweight camouflage gloves that I'll put on before I take my pictures. For me personally I just don't like having bare hands in the pictures. I'll either hide my hands or if I have gloves on then it's fine. But it seems like a bare hand really stands out in the picture and it takes away from what we're trying to accomplish. After all our pictures are to celebrate an animal, to show off or showcase an animal. It's not about me. I'm not a chest pounder. It's not about me harvesting this animal. Look at me, me, me. No, it's about the animal. Look at this beautiful animal. Be it the headgear, be it whatever you want to showcase, but it's about the animal. I don't like a lot of blood in my pictures. I don't like tongues hanging out. I don't like arrows sticking out. It's bad for our, for what we represent. It's bad for hunting. And I need to do the best I can to produce the cleanest and nicest pictures that I can so that there's less negativity going with what we like to do. Okay, another thing is positioning of the camera. I want, between me and the camera, I want the headgear of the animal. I don't want to have this animal positioned, in this case, say I had the camera on the far side of this animal, the body and the rump would be between um, the head and the camera and that decreases the appeal of the head of the animal you definitely want the head closest to the camera I will be in the background with the head between me and the camera that just takes a much better picture um, hopefully you found something in these videos that help you you know on how to how to pose a, an animal be it an antelope or an elk or a deer um, how I pose them with a tripod. I have some others that I do with branches and limbs that I'll position their head up, but they'll stiffen up. Usually it's pretty fast. You know, I can have a deer in position in an hour. This antelope, for whatever reason, is taking a little bit longer. Um, you just have to play it and see how it goes. One to three hours, maybe. Um, you know, some people are gonna say, well, man, you gotta get that thing cleaned. You know what? This animal is just fine. It's a nice cool morning. It's only been a couple of hours. All the meat's gonna be fine on it. Um, I definitely don't want it sitting overnight um, because I don't care what the temperature is, you're gonna lose some meat doing that. But anyway. Okay, I think it's been long enough. Um, it's been a little longer than average, uh, two and a half plus hours. And anyway, this guy's ready to go. I'll go ahead and pull the cord off and uh, I'll show you how he sits up and then we'll take a few pictures.
down here the angles just about right one thing i forgot to mention are the ears ears on an antelope you don't have to worry much about them they kind of stay right where you need them ears on a deer or an elk on the other hand they get flopping down so i like to tie them up and let them rigger up but even after they've riggered they'll still droop a little bit so what i do is i have a little trick with some um, fishing line that won't show up in your pictures that will hold the ears in a better position. So you can see the head's kind of tipped back a little bit. Might have to adjust it a little bit for my pictures. As I come around the front, you'll see the head's up in the air just like we want it. It should take some really nice pictures. Anyway, hope you found something helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Um, like this video and subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications, and I'd really like to hear some of your comments. Let me know maybe how you pose animals or some of your thoughts. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Happy fall.